Here we are at the Owls Creek Tennis Center here in Virginia Beach, closed. Not a good thing. So Owls Creek was a very vibrant part of the tennis community in the 70s and 80s and 90s and uh, recently too. So it's closed down. It's owned by the city of Virginia Beach. It's got a great location right on the corner. So when we walk through here, many uh, great tournaments over the last decades. Uh, some really good tennis pros. Jose Benjamea was a icon here in the late 70s and 80s. Dave Howe uh, taught some tennis here. They got the nets all pulled up right now. Uh, recently, Mike Musgrave, a former Virginia Wesleyan player, had the contract. So, uh, we need to do something about this because this was uh, the place for parks and recs. And I think in the 70s, it was one of the top 50 facilities in the United States. So, a lot of really good events. Um, have been here uh, right now it's kind of overgrown but this is a little bit of a problem with tennis because parks and rec uh, they've kind of they're kind of punting on these situations so you probably uh, without a doubt need some public private uh, cooperation or partnerships. Um, I taught tennis here at some point in the 80s. So it's, uh, used to have ladies luncheon tennis right here. Nice gazebo. As you can see, it's all sort of overgrown now. Recent storm knocked down some trees. We got some overgrowth. There's a bubble right here that Mike Musgrave and uh, his group put up. Uh, this pro shop uh, was uh, very active, used to be very active. Uh, roof doesn't look good, trees, a lot of overgrowth. Um, there's six courts here in the back. Um, they added this some years ago, so it has its own restrooms. Um, a lot of woods, trees, kind of a very nice setup uh, when it's uh, properly landscaped and maintained. Uh, here's the bubble right here. Uh, there's two in, uh, there's two indoor courts right in that building and here's some old tennis tips now uh, this is kind of where tennis has changed over the over the decades there needs to be a uh, uh, better infrastructure you know the courts need to be broken up a little bit differently now a lot more amenities of shade especially programming uh, if you give people good matches they'll stay in a great game as my man dave howe would say uh, so we're venturing to the back here of house creek and um, these are the six courts back here these are the north courts the other ones were the south uh, had some drainage problem uh, trees definitely need some love when you see branches growing down like this now there's a, a uh, museum next door and they're putting up the silt fence uh, silt fence silt fence silt fence anyway they're putting up a fence and the reason they're putting up that fence is because 
for building a parking lot over there. So there's a parking lot that's going over there to support the museum. Uh, this fencing here at Owls Creek needs some love. So definitely uh, tennis, uh, tennis has gravitated and done a great job. So tennis has done a great job of uh, expanding and development into your private schools. Cape Henry's collegiate facilities improved. Uh, Norfolk Academy, Solid, uh, Norfolk Christian, and Norfolk Collegiate, they use Old Dominion's facility, so that's nice. The country clubs, Norfolk Yacht, Cavalier, Princess Anne have all seen recent improvements. But Parks and Rec in the 757 uh, hasn't seen so much recent improvement. So there, there's the parking lot that's over there. A lot of woods, a lot of trees here at Owls Creek. Hopefully this situation gets resurrected. Build a nice facility and they will come. Build a nice facility or renovate a facility nicely and they will come for sure.